What is going on guys? Zerus here. And in today's video, we're going to do another video response to Young Turks. And this time, we're going to be talking about prostitution. Now, this will perhaps probably be the first and the last time I talk about prostitution. And the reason why is because I think I can say everything I need to say in my complete opinion on prostitution in this video. However, don't hold me to it. I may talk about prostitution again somewhere down the road. But as I foresee it, I think I can explain how I feel about prostitution in this video response. With that being said, let's go. The FBI has seized uh, the website MyRedBook.com, and it's a bit of a problem because it was actually a website that was utilized by sex workers in order to screen their clients before meeting up with them. Now that the FBI has shut the website down, many people who work in the sex industry are finding it difficult to do the screenings, and oftentimes they're worried that they're going to find themselves in a lot of trouble. Also keep in mind that after MyRedBook was taken down, all of a sudden, People who work in that industry are having a difficult time finding clients or meeting clients, which means that they have to go back to using pimps. And of course, there are problems with doing that. Now, um, MyRedBook.com hosted coded customer reviews and advertisements for sexual services, according to prosecutors, and its operators have been charged with facilitating prostitution. Now, the FBI argues that there were some instances of teenagers selling sex on the website. I haven't found any evidence of that. I think the FBI is going after the website because prostitution is illegal. Well, wouldn't that be reason enough to go after prostitution? But that's the problem with illegal pro prostitution. problem with illegal prostitution is the fact that it's illegal. First of all, prostitution isn't going to go away because it's been around since the beginning of time. And also, uh, if you get rid of tools like this that help people in that industry screen potential clients, i.e. break the law, you're actually putting them in a lot more danger. And it makes it seem as though the federal agents are super disingenuous when they talk about the safety of sex workers and people who want to buy sex. Then again, they don't have to be prostitutes. They can find other ways to work. I mean, they can start up a YouTube channel on makeup and probably get like 10,000 subscribers in like two weeks. I mean, they don't have to. Prostitution is like, isn't the only occupation that these women can have, Anna. Because if you really cared about their safety, you would have regulations put in place and tools put in place to create a safe environment for them to do that exchange. Or perhaps if you cared about their safety, you would try to, uh, I, don't, I don't know, discourage them from being prostitutes to begin with. If you want to try to keep them safe, you would try to persuade them to find other career paths. You wouldn't, you wouldn't say prostitution is their only option, because very rarely it ever is, but a lot of women, who, I mean, men can be prostitutes too, but a lot of women in escorts think that the only thing they can do is become prostitutes. If you really cared about these people's safety, you would not want them to do anything remotely close to prostitution. Okay, and look, the government, the government sucks. It sucks. FBI sucks too. However, I do, I, I can't disagree with them too much when they're trying to get these street walkers off the street. Because as it turns out, a lot of prostitutes don't like being prostitutes. And I know that sounds contrary to belief when you look at all the porn stars, but I mean, if you watch a couple of interviews about women who have been in porn and are no longer there, they don't like it. Legalize it, legalize it, get out of our lives, man. Really? No, get out of your lives. You know, the, the, the same way that the feminists thought that Hobby Lobby should pay for birth control. That's that's the same way you want the uh, government to get out of your lives, right? Come on, conservatives. Come on, man. You're against big government? Come on, join us, right? government telling you who you can and can't have sex with? No, the government is telling you you cannot charge people to have sex with you. Unless, of course, there's a camera around, then it's perfectly fine. And I, the Supreme Court just said uh, money is speech, right? Yeah. So uh, I'm paying her with my speech. <laughs> and so we're going to tell grown-ass people, yeah. adults, no, you're not allowed to have sex with one another as long as money is exchanged. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of how it works. But let me be clear, it, you, you are allowed to do it if there's a camera rolling, because then that's called porn and that's perfectly legal. Right. So when we're going to get into the minutiae, the government is, of telling you where and how you can have sex and if you paid or if you didn't pay and if a camera was rolling or not rolling and all these, get out of our lives, get out of our lives. Um, you do understand that if prostitution 
I'm sorry, if porn, which is prostitution, is being distributed on the internet, well then there's no way the government can get out of your lives because they're trying to regulate the economy, and since that is indeed a product, and you know, you're a big government, you want them to have control of the economy, remember, you're, you're leftist socialist, there's no way they can get out of that based on what the left wants. You think liberals are for big government? If this is big government, I'm not in favor of this. As uh, Whether it's a liberal or a progressive, this is not our idea of good government. It's, yeah. The idea of big government is so stupid anyway. For what? I, I don't know. Are we gonna go uh, fight the Nazis? Then I want a big government. Are we gonna go have spy in on our lives and tell us whether we can have sex with somebody or not? Then Government's not telling you who you can and cannot have sex with. It's telling you that you cannot charge people money to have sex with you. And honestly, I think it takes a special kind of vanity for anybody to think that you are so special as to where someone has to pay you money to have sex with you. You know, like there are lots of escorts who charge men $3,500,000 just to have dinner with them. There are women who do stuff like that for free. Are you kidding me? What makes you so special to where someone has to, to pay to spend your... What makes your time so spectacular to where someone has to spend money for you to, 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 to hang out with them? You, you got men who can get that for free. That's why I think prostitution... I don't even understand how prostitution is still around if feminists are telling women to go out and be hedonistic and go out and have as much sex as you want how can men not find these people to have sex with i mean just go to a club just go to a bar just it's it's not that difficult not anymore i don't want a big government yes. it depends you knuckleheads it, get out of our lives legalize it and also if you genuinely care about uh child sex trafficking right that's a really big problem and it definitely should be addressed why would you waste your resources on prosecuting and criminalizing consenting adults? Because it's illegal. And also, what they're hoping to find is a lot of those prostitutes that are legal and there, what they're hoping to do is to find these women, catch them, and then, well, not interrogate them, but help use these women to help them find the traffickers. They're, they're using these prostitutes who have been prostitutes for years to find the prostitution rings that have the children, that have the younger girls, in there. And the only reason I know this is because I watched a documentary on sex trafficking and that's how the um, FBI, that's how they do it. They find prostitutes, they find streetwalkers, and these streetwalkers will lead them, the FBI, to the pimps for them to arrest them and put them in jail. That's why they do it, Anna. Right? Those are adults that have made that decision. It's an informed decision. Actually, half the time, it's not an informed decision. A lot of women end up in prostitution not because they really want to do it, but because they don't think they have any other option. Some young ladies get coerced into doing it. Um, in fact, go watch... In fact, link in the description box below, so you know I'm not making this up. But uh, I watched several different interviews of different porn stars talking about how they got into the porn industry. Originally, they meant to go in to do some modeling. Originally, they were never told that they were supposed to do these sex scenes until they get up there and then they get coerced into doing it. They're adults, right, and they get into this prostitution ring. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to find very many women who aspire to be prostitutes, though. And a lot of women end up into prostitution, stripping and dancing, not from their own volition. You're not going to find an eight-year-old child who says, you know, I want to grow up to have sex with a bunch of men. I mean, granted, there probably have been some in history, but that's not the meta. That's not normal. It's, it's not an informed decision. They, they, a lot of the prostitutes or prostitutes don't want to be prostitutes. Again, link in the description box below to interviews of women talking about their experiences in prostitution. Let them do what they're gonna do. Focus those resources on catching child predators, on catching people who want to sell their bodies and they're not old enough to do so. That's exactly why they shut down my red book, you doofus. It's so disingenuous. Everything that the feds say about prostitution is bullshit and it's all fueled by puritanical religious beliefs. I go again. It's always, it's all, it's always religion's fault, or it's always religion's fault. If you fall and scrape your knee on the sidewalk, Anna, you're probably gonna blame Jesus Christ because it's always religion's fault for everything. Well, you know, I don't know if, uh, if, if Anna's a feminist or not, but I wouldn't be too shocked if she was. But here's the thing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till the end, uh, till we're done with responding to Young Turks to really explain this concept because it's very important. It's sad because a lot of people do get hurt in the process. So every once in a while people ask, so why do you care about religion? Why do you attack religion? It's your fault, right? You should be respectful. People, hey, why don't you be respectful of us? 
They're talking about prostitution, and somehow they attack religion. I mean, I can I can create an argument against prostitution without even talking about the Bible not one friggin' time, uh, which again I will do at the towards the end of the video. But however, I just it just it, it boggles my mind how he somehow comes to the conclusion that prostitution is illegal because of Puritan Christian ideology. And get your stupid dogmatic so-called morality from 2,000 years ago out of our lives. Well, why is prostitution illegal? Because it's a real danger? Oh, it could lead to child predators. Well, then go catch the child predators, okay? We're all agree, we 100% agree, you should go after child predators. Not after consenting adults doing whatever they want to do. I'm not even sure why he's taking such an emotional approach to prostitution. Why? You know, I don't get this. Why is he so angry? Why is he so upset uh, over prostitutes becoming commodities, becoming actual sexual objects? Why is he upset that the U.S. government says that you cannot purchase another human being? D do you not get that concept? You are purchasing another person. I wonder what that sounds like. That kind of sounds like some something that happened in 200. Oh, God. Purchasing another person. Oh, shit. I, I can't remember the name of what that's called escapes me right now. I don't I don't know what that's called, but it sounds familiar. You know why it's illegal because of your stupid ass religion. I got no interest in your religion. I'm not religious. It's a free country. It's a democracy. It's supposed to be secular. Hey, if that is true, and the people come to the logical conclusion of voting to keep prostitution illegal, then you need to shut up. D then your argument is invalid. If, if it's illegal because the people voted for it to be illegal, regardless of their religious affiliation, if the cause of them voting to be that way was because they were religious, it, it doesn't change the, the outcome. If that, their religion may have influenced their voting, but the, they still vote against it. That's the democracy that you asked for. We don't actually even live in a democracy. Anyway, we live in a democratic republic, but not anymore. We actually live in an oligarchy, but... That's for another time to discuss. We're not supposed to be ruled by your religion. I don't care if it's Christianity, Judaism, or Islam. I know all of them are against. Why didn't he just say you did? Ah, uh, whatever. Fuck it. That's it, right? I don't care what you think about my morality. Your morality is not my morality, okay? W wait a minute, Shink. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get this one straight. You don't care about a religious person's morality. And yet, you think that the religious person's morality should care about yours. That is called hypocrisy. Plain and simple. Hey, so you want to not have sex with prostitutes? By the way, bullshit. I don't believe you. I think that- Give a John Brown gun. You fuck if you believe me. I don't want to have sex with a prostitute. I'm not going to spend money on a woman who's been ran through by hundreds of men. That's disgusting. I don't want to- who really, nobody really wants to have sex with a prostitute. They do it because they're desperate. No one really seeks out prostitutes. Nobody really wants to do anything with a prostitute. Uh, prostitutes don't even want to be prostitutes. Have you ever talked to a prostitute who was done, who, who during her prostitution, who gets forced into it? Even, even the ones who went into it consentingly. When they're done, they're like, they don't, they're not happy with themselves. Again, link in the description box below to watch interviews of these porn stars and these prostitutes talking about their experiences. The so-called most moral people pressing for this are the ones that are using hookers the most, okay? I have never had sex before. So I'm not using hookers at all. Okay, that's what every study shows. That's what everything, the Bible Belt. Oh, we're against porn. Who uses the most porn in America? The Bible Belt. We're against gays. Who watches the most gay porn in America? The Bible Belt. I don't believe that shit worth a damn. Okay. Damn so, it, the Bible Belt. It is. <laughs> I don't believe you. I think you're the most immoral people out there. Okay, well, I don't care about your morality. Didn't you just say that? Didn't you not just say Fuck. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video, you know? And honestly, one thing that has oftentimes struck me as peculiar when it comes to prostitution is the way feminists talk about it. A lot of feminists think that you should legalize prostitution and that prostitution should be fine, except you're missing the bigger picture here. You know, the, 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 the liberals in the left wing, they get so caught in their emotions all the time. You know, they get so caught in their feelings, their feelings all of the time. You saw he had a, quite the emotional response. But you missed the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is this. What happens 
when you spend money at a store to purchase an object. Who does the object now belong to? The person who spent the money to obtain the object. If you legalize prostitution, feminists, you have to understand that you will be turning women into literal sexual objects. The very thing you swear to destroy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's hilariously ironic because it, it just it, it, it doesn't fit. You have all these feminists, Anita Sarkeesian, talking about the sexual objectification of women in video games. You have the sexual objectification of women in magazines or in television and movies. And yet, at the same time, you want women to become actual sexual objects. How do the two coexist with one another? It makes no sense to me. If prostitution becomes legal, then women truly become commodities. They truly become capital. If they become a capital, guess what? You've gone back to slavery. This is why the U.S. government can't allow prostitution, or at least not in the sense that the sex traffickers have. You know, and, and honestly, the, the thing that probably keeps prostitution illegal the most isn't necessarily even the, the conservatives. It's probably the women who were prostitutes. It's the women who were in pornography, who are the most against it. You, you think that Christians and these conservatives are against pornography? I'm telling you, do a little bit of research. Ex-porn stars are more against pornography than any Christian ever will be. Again, link in the description box below. Jesse Rogers talks about her experiences in the porn industry. And they're frigging horrible. They're horrible. Legalized prostitution still ended up getting several different STDs. Another thing, if prostitution becomes legal, the government's going to have to put regulations on your body. Is that not another credence that feminism screams out of its behind that they hate? They hate the fact that there are a bunch of men putting regulations on women's bodies. Well, if prostitution is legal, you're going to get another thing that you hate. If you legalize prostitution, you get two things that you feminists swear you hate. The true objectification of women's bodies and more regulations on your bodies. So, I mean, look, if, you, if that's really what you want, well, then you can fight for it. But I guarantee you, you're going to get opposition from ex-prostitutes and ex-porn stars and the, the right wing. You will, because I'm telling you, man, go, again, link the description box below. You can go do your own research on how ex-prostitutes and ex-porn stars feel about porn and prostitution, because they have some truly horrendous stories to tell. But that being said, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, go ahead and click the like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comments below, and as always, have a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.